welcome to the channel with stories of disasters from across the world. Today we are covering the deadliest energy and power plant disasters. Please note, this list will not include ship, pipeline, or warfare manufacturing disasters as they'll be getting their own videos. Dam and mining disasters already have top 10, so definitely check them out afterwards. Number 10. Sayano-Shushkinskaya Power Plant This hydroelectric power station near Sayanogorsk, Russia, had a turbine that had to have constant maintenance since it was installed in 1979. On August 17, 2009, after it had been shaking for months, the turbine failed and sent the cover, a 920-ton metal rotor, and water flying out of the cavity. At least 75 workers were killed during the flooding. Safety mechanisms also failed to work, and the oil that was used to cool the machines broke free and contaminated the rivers nearby. Number 9. Chernobyl Yes, we are aware that Chernobyl is likely the deadliest power plant disaster in recorded history. We know that Ukraine paid out benefits to 36.5 thousand widows of men who died because of this incident, but our lists always go by minimum recorded casualties, and the government insists that there were only 78 deaths caused by this nuclear meltdown. We could go on for hours about this disaster, but in short, on April 25th, 1986, technicians performed a poorly designed test to see if they could cool the reactor in the event of a power failure. They did this by shutting the power off of the regulating systems, safety systems, and by accident most of the power. The turn it off and turn it back on again method caused an increase in reactivity, a rupture in the fuel channels, and a pressure change that made the coolant flash to steam. The temperature skyrocketed and led to an explosion and the meltdown of the reactor core. Pripyat civilians were evacuated while staff and firefighters tried to stop the blaze, which continued for another week. All of the immediate claimed deaths were from workers and firefighters close to the scene, but air currents blew the radioactive fallout over the USSR and Europe, leaving a path of contamination, cancer, radiation sickness, and animal and plant deformities. Ukraine also saw a 250% increase in birth defects and deformities after the nuclear meltdown. Number 8. Ocean Ranger Disaster on the evening of February 14, 1982, while hundreds of kilometers from the shore, the crew of the Ocean Ranger, an oil drilling unit, received news of an incoming storm. Crew began to prepare the rig, but it arrived too quickly. 190 km per hour or 120 mile per hour winds whipped the rig and the sea, creating 20 meter or 65 foot high waves that slammed into the structure, destroying the control room. The rig began to list sharply and the crew sent out mayday messages. Just 30 minutes later, it transmitted its last message. There will be no further radio communications from Ocean Ranger. We are going to lifeboat stations. They were never heard from again. The rig sank and waves combined with freezing temperatures killed all 84 crew members. Number seven, the Northeast blackout of 2003. On August 13th of 2003, during hot weather, many systems were on the brink of overloading from people using so much power to cool off. One power line sagged into trees and went down. Because of a software bug in the alarm system at First Energy, operators were unaware of the need to redistribute. The load began transferring to other already strained transmission lines and they all began tripping, shutting down at least 265 power plants. 55 million Americans and Canadians lost power. The cell phone and landlines went down from circuits and network overload and people became trapped in the subway system. I actually experienced this as a child. My hometown is in news articles because the sewage plants failed and our water and lakes were contaminated. It's estimated that this blackout took 100 lives. People with disabilities died when their medical equipment failed. Cars crashed in the darkness and from a lack of traffic lights. Fires spread throughout New York and many people suffered carbon monoxide poisoning from running generators indoors. Number six, the Alexander Schelland drilling rig collapse. A storm hit this mobile oil drilling rig on the 27th of March, 1980. Waves reached 12 meters, or 39 feet, and winds whipped past at 74 kilometers per hour as a dense fog rolled in. Occupants felt the rig crack, then all but one of the anchor posts snapped as the structure listed towards the water. It became too much for the last anchor post and the rig capsized. While there were plenty of lifeboats and rafts aboard, only two rafts and less than five boats were able to launch as the rig flipped completely upside down in just 14 minutes. An investigation discovered cracks in the welds, and of the 212 people aboard the rig, 123 had been killed. This event led to new regulations for offshore rigs and lifeboat release mechanisms. Number 5. Cleveland, East Ohio Gas Explosion 
Gas explosions are scary enough, but when the burning gas and fuel seeps into the sewer system and causes unpredictable explosions across an entire suburb, it reaches a new level. On the 20th of October 1944, just that happened. A gas storage tank at the East Ohio Gas Company had a leak which mixed with the oxygen and became combustible, exploding with devastating effect. Entire streets of homes were ignited, and 130 people were killed, primarily women and infants, as children were still in school and men were at work. After this, gas storage facilities had to meet new safety requirements. Number 4. Tacoa Power Plant Fire On December 19, 1982, a storage tank at the Tacoa Power Plant exploded during a routine inspection. The Venezuelan firefighters managed to get the blaze under control, while news reporters covered the incident and curious locals watched the battle. But after two hours, the water ran out. A boilover happened and the adjacent tank exploded, shooting a fire 600 meters or 2,000 feet up into the air. Flames rained down on everything within 1.4 kilometers or nearly a mile from the site, killing over 150 people, including firefighters, workers, journalists, and onlookers. Many victims were never even identified because they were reduced to ash and the dental work in their teeth melted. Number three, Piper Alpha Disaster. On the 6th of July, 1988, Pipeline A on the oil rig Piper Alpha was sealed as the safety valve needed maintenance and had been removed. No one told the workers of the next shift that the pipeline was out of commission. After Pipeline B went down, documents as to why A was off were not found and the crew started it up. Gas leaked out and the firewalls failed, causing an explosion. A custodian, Jeff Bolins, risked his life to close off the sea lines so new new oil and gas could come in, but it couldn't stop the fire from igniting what was already stored. The control room was hit first, destroying the safety and alarm systems, so no warnings went out to the employees of the danger. More explosions hit and rescue crews were pushed back by heat that could be felt one kilometer away. 165 workers died and two rescue workers were killed after getting caught in debris before an explosion. Number 2. The 2021 Texas Power Grid Failures While most of the USA joined the national power grids over a hundred years ago, Texas decided against it. In the 1990s, they also deregulated their power grid to encourage competition, but this resulted in cost cutting. Ten years before this incident, in 2011, a blizzard hit that was so bad that more than 75% of Texas lost its power and hundreds of water mains froze. They were only allowed to use water for drinking and needed to boil it. The Federal Energy Commission told Texas officials that they needed to winterize their power sources, but the advice was ignored. In February of 2021, three massive polar vortices hit the United States and triggered the worst energy infrastructure failure in Texas history. More than 4.5 million people lost power, and shortages of heat, water, and food became a crisis. Because of Texas being off of the national grid, it was difficult to import electricity, and corporations used it to their despicable benefit, charging $9,000 for what would normally be $50 in electricity. While the rich, and even a senator of the state, were able to flee to warmer places or afford the price gouging, the impoverished people were left to fend for themselves. They began dying quickly of hypothermia, especially babies and the elderly. Many, while desperately trying to warm their house, ran generators indoors and succumbed to carbon monoxide poisoning. The state's official death toll is set at 246, but that neglected hundreds who were killed from lack of medical care, which places the number above 700. A bill passed requiring gas facilities to winterize it, but as there were no penalties for the failure to do so, only one company has made changes. The governor announced he can't guarantee there won't be a load shed event in the future. Number 1. San Juanico Disaster An energy farm in San Juanico, Mexico, which held LPG, a vehicle and appliance fuel, experienced a gas leak on November 19, 1984. The gas was blown into a flare pit and exploded, not once, but an entire series of at least 12 explosions lit up the farm, continuing for 16 hours. The explosions were so extreme that they were picked up by seismologists 30 kilometers away. Nearly 7 kilometers of houses and businesses were demolished, 5,000 to 7,000 people were injured, and it's estimated that 500 to 600 people died in this explosion. The local people believe the number is much higher, though, because the victims were almost entirely reduced to ash, and only 2% were able to be identified, and very few families came forward to claim the bodies. With the population of Earth growing and demanding more and more power, I have a bad feeling that this list might need to be updated in the near future. Did anyone here experience any of these disasters? We would love to hear your stories in the comments. Don't forget to check out our dam and mining disaster videos, too. Thanks for joining us, and as always, we hope you learned something new, and we're excited to see you in the next video here at Bad Day HQ.